this is really powerful stuff here, this engine. Uh, this allows you to really slice and dice data and create basically your own view of Google Analytics however you want, much more so than even than custom reporting. Uh, this will allow you to take your own segments, basically create your own rules, and view the data basically how you want them with your parameters and your rules set in place. So this is there's two parts to this particular portion of our webinar here this afternoon. I'm going to show you first the cust or the um, the default ones that Google Analytics has created for us. They came up with about nine or ten custom advanced segments. They have visits, um, referring sites, search engines, non-paid traffic, paid traffic, visits with conversions, and visits with transactions that you can automatically apply without having to create your own. And they also have an area where you can create your own custom segment. So that's what I'm going to show you here this afternoon. So all you have to do is click on advanced segments towards the top right. Once you do, this menu will appear, something that looks just like this in your own Google Analytics account. By default, the default view for Google Analytics, it's all visits. So anytime you log into Google Analytics, this is what you'll see. You'll see all visits at all times. So if you want to click on some of the default segments, here you have the new visitors, returning visitors, and all the way down the list. I'll show you how to create your own in just a second, but I just wanted you to see some of the default ones that Google Analytics has already created for you. In the next screenshot here, I'm actually going to select new and returning visitors, and I'm going to see that with all visits, just to give you an idea, uh, some of the flavor that this particular section can provide for you. And this is what it basically looks like. So now I have all visits represented in that blue line in that trending graph, new visitors in orange and returning visitors in green. So this gives me a pretty good way to see, uh, get a good visual as to what each particular segment of traffic is doing in comparison to every visitor. So in, in other words, in comparison to the averages of the website. So when I mouse over any data point in that trending graph, you can see what it, basically what happened for that day, all visits, new visitors and returning visitors, how many visits each particular group or particular segment of people have generated over time. Notice below in the site usage area, that has also been updated. So now each particular metric, met visits or page views or bounce rates, you can view each one of those by the metrics that you have selected. So when you do have advanced segmentation enabled, when you have any of the segments that you created or any of the default ones enabled, all the reports in Google Analytics will show all of that information until you go back up and turn it and disable it again. So here in this situation, I'm looking at my search engines report underneath the traffic sources section, and I'm looking at my non-paid traffic. So here the same rules apply. Google and Yahoo and any other search engine that I had is going to show all visits, and then it's going to compare it to new visitors and returning visitors. So that's pretty easy. That's one part. That's uh, one way to see different segments at the same time in Google Analytics. But of course, uh, if you're like me, you like to create your own and like to make up your own. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to show you how to make your own. So all you would have to do when you get to your Manage Advanced Segment screen, this screen is available when you click on the Advanced Segmentation button up in the top right of your account. All you have to do is click on either Create New Custom Segment towards the top of this page or towards the bottom of that page, that No Custom Segments Created link. Uh, and this will take you to the Advanced Segmentation Creation screen. And that screen is pretty similar looking to the custom reporting screen that we saw a couple of minutes ago. It uses basically the same engine and it works the same way. You pick either dimensions or metrics that you want to have in your advanced segment. You drag and drop them. But in, what's going to happen here, once you drag and drop a dimension or a metric when you're building your segment, it's going to ask you a couple of questions. And we're going to go over that right now. So moving along here, what I've done in this particular screenshot, uh, I've dragged, of course, source to be my first part of my segment. And so when I did that, a couple of questions came up that I need to answer to refine and define what this part of this metric is going to be about. Uh, the first thing is condition, which is, uh, which is represented in that drop-down menu right underneath source, or right after source. You have a couple of different things that you can select. You can have, of course, match some value exactly. Uh, you can have it contain a certain value, not contain a certain value. You can have it be less than or greater than, or less than and equal to or greater than and equal to, or any of the options in this screen. It even takes regular expressions. For those of you who are familiar with post-6 regular expressions, you can even build your own, and that can be used for the 
value that supports the right of this condition. So the condition is basically uh, the rule that you want it to abide by. So for this particular situation, as I move uh, this webinar here another slide forward, I'm going to have the condition be contained. And the value for this condition is going to be the word Google. So what this means, any source that contains the word Google is what I want this particular segment to show me. And as you can see here, once I typed in the word Google, any instance of the word Google that this particular, my particular profile has accumulated over time is going to show in this dropdown. So maybe if you were looking for a specific, so if you're looking for maybe images.google.com, you could click on that and just have that as your value. But I want everything for this example to be Google. So I'm just going to leave Google. But as you can see, you can pick each individual one if you wanted to. Now, to get a little bit fancier, uh, I'm going to add a second statement to this particular event segment. So I already have any source containing Google to be in this particular segment. Uh, but I also want it to uh, include anyone from any country or territory that starts with the word United. And so what that's going to do, anyone that came from uh, any United States, United Kingdom, or even United Arab Emirates, I'm going to have those, those particular visits show in this report or anyone that showed up from a source that contains the word Google. And the condition, of course, it starts with. Now, you can add as many or or as many and statements as you want to in advanced segmentation. You can build this however you want to. And this is just one of thousands of different possibilities that you can do. Uh, but what I advise you to do before you save it and before you even apply it to your profile so that you can view it, you can hit the test segment button, which is what my arrow is pointing to right now. What this is going to do, this is going to show you the total number of visits that each segment that you've built is going to be able to show you. So once I've clicked on the test segment link, as I fast forward my webinar slide here, you'll be able to see the different amount of visits that each particular segment has been able to find and has been able to bring in. So for example, source containing Google, there have been 73,000 visits. Country and territory that starts with the word United, almost 150,000 visits. Towards the bottom left of the screen, it'll show you how many total visits it matched. This segment matched 156,000 visits. Now, some of you may be asking, well, that doesn't make sense because 149 plus 73 is 220 and change. Uh, it doesn't necessarily add them up. These are any of the visits that contain, that with the source containing Google, or, or being the keyword with the country and territory that starts with the word United. I'm going to show you an example in three or four slides uh, that will probably help you a little bit better with that. I'm going to have an and statement in there, and I'm going to explain the difference between the two. So once you've tested out your segment, and if you're happy with it, what you can do, you can scroll down to the bottom of the page, and you can name the segment whatever you want to name it. So in this situation, I named it Joe's United Google segment representing the two segments that I have. And then just simply click on the Create Segment button, and you'll have it in your profile until you delete it or until you edit it. Once you do that, you'll be taken back to your Manage Advanced Segments screen. And now you'll see, before where it didn't have any segments, you'll see the segment that you just created listed there. So all you'd have to do to actually view it in Google Analytics, you'd simply want to click on Apply to Report. And again, just like the custom reporting interface, you can come back to this at any time, edit it, and you can delete it, or even you can even copy it and make a second one and edit that one if you want to. So to apply it to your report, simply click on that 